Can you believe it's almost been 10 years since Siri was integrated into the iPhone 5S? Before that point, asking your phone to tell you a joke in public would have gotten you some pretty weird looks, not to mention the lack of a robotic punchline. Fast forward to now and we practically can't live without these AI powered chatbots. At any moment while you're watching this, you could blurt out a command and a device in your nearby room or even on your phone would answer you. This is a testament to the popularity of chatbots themselves. Sure, if you want to be technical, smart devices like Alexa, Google Home, and HomePod are called virtual assistants, but these devices are all made possible due to advancements in machine learning and this technology has started to reach into the healthcare space. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Moneypenny, and today we're going to go over how chatbots are changing the healthcare industry. But before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. And while you're down there, make sure that you hit that alert bell icon as well so that you're notified when we post new helpful content. Now before you go to the doctor, what do you do? Well, if you're in the majority, you'll look up your symptoms. In fact, 89% of patients Google their health symptoms before scheduling an appointment. If you've done this before, you know that this isn't a good idea and the results are usually bad and end up giving you more anxiety in the first place. Luckily, chatbot startups realize this problem and are solving it with AI-powered messaging. Imagine the autonomy you'd have as a patient by being able to reach into your pocket, open up an app, and diagnose yourself by chatting with an AI-driven health companion through a text-based conversation. Well, that's where the future is headed with chatbots. So what actually happens after you Google your symptoms and falsely diagnose yourself? You'll go even further down the rabbit hole and look up specific information about what ailment you've contracted. If what Google told you is true and it's bad, you'll want to learn as much information as possible and try to heal yourself a little bit faster. This may sound familiar to the last section, but there's a huge problem with health information on the internet. Now we know that the majority of the information is not accurate because that's what I just said in the previous section. But some websites that contain accurate medical information actually exist. They're out there. You can visit them right now by opening up a new Google tab and typing in the American Academy of Pediatrics or the American Academy of Neurology. So why aren't these websites more well known? These are websites for professionals. Both organizations publish official medical documentation from physicians. The problem is that they're littered with nomenclature and jargon that's confusing to your average everyday patient. Luckily, some healthcare chatbots are solving this issue by pairing the symptom diagnosis capabilities I mentioned in the last section with a database of patient-friendly and accurate information for their review. Some of these chatbots even crowdsource helpful resources that patients can use that they wouldn't otherwise find out about. So now that you're on the right track and you've diagnosed yourself with the help of an AI-driven chatbot and have all of the accurate information you need thanks to its database, you might need treatment. Depending on your ailment, you might need multiple prescriptions that need to be taken at different times throughout the day. Now that can get pretty overwhelming, especially for those older patients. What's worse is that missing prescriptions for elderly patients can sometimes have serious consequences. Enter chatbots stage left. Healthcare chatbots are making strides in patient reminders, self-reflection, and in mental health areas as well. Some of them only need a verbal command that includes the prescription name, quantity, and time you need to take medication in order to remind you. Others teach patients cognitive behavior therapy through daily activities. There's one that helps patients rehab while in recovery after surgery. Some have even been developed just to be your friend in case you're lonely and need to talk about your day. It seems like no matter what area of healthcare, there's a chatbot for that. We live in an exciting time filled with innovation driven by these AI companions. If you'd like more information on chatbots and how they're helping patients, reach out to eTactics. And you made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.